You know, a lot of people have myths about living trust, things that are not really true, and maybe they use that as a reason not to do one. It's just a fancy will. A lot of people think they are restricted once they create a trust. It's in a trust. They don't have full control of it. That's absolutely false. When you create a living trust, you are the grantor, the creator. You are the owner. You can do anything you want to with your assets inside the trust. The beauty of a trust is that when you die, the assets are in a living trust, not a deceased person's name. If they were in a deceased person's name when you die, then there would be probate. If they're in a living trust, then your wishes can be followed, your directions can be followed upon your death by the person you choose as the successor. So there is no restriction on you while you're living. You own it. You control it. You do whatever you want to with it. You buy, sell, spend, do whatever you want to with it. People ask, are there restrictions on what you can put in the trust? Uh, well, there are. you don't generally put in an automobile. You don't generally put in insurance, annuities, or retirement accounts. Because those uh, insurance, annuities, retirement accounts have beneficiaries that already avoid probate. Automobiles don't go in because they don't go through probate. There's some common myths. Do you lose your homestead exemption? No. Do you lose your stepped-up in cost basis when you have a trust? No. Do you lose to save, save the cap on the tax rate on a trust? No. A lot of common reasons people use it, have in their minds not, where they do not want to do a trust, but they're not true. None of those things are true. If you have a question about that, or maybe you have some reason that you haven't created a trust or don't want one, call. I'd love to discuss that with you. 